This short video looks at how to access NWRC digital services remotely, that is from home, from your work, from the library, somewhere outside of college. So two things you need to do then. First of all, you have to install the Authenticator app on the mobile device you're using, that's your phone or your tablet. And secondly, you need to go into your college Microsoft account and set up Authenticator on that account. You get the Authenticator app from the uh, Google Play Store or the Apple Store. You know it by this icon. Once it's been installed on your mobile device then, you set it up on your college Microsoft account. Now you may have Authenticator set up on more than one mobile device. For example, if you sometimes use your phone or other times use your iPad, then you'd have to have Authenticator set up on both of those. Once you have it set up, on your Microsoft account, your college account, you should try getting access as soon as possible from your mobile device remotely. So you ask the question, why do you need Authenticator set up then? The college requires this for security reasons. It's to make sure that anyone who is trying to get access to the office set of apps on a Microsoft account are authentic Microsoft clients based at NWRC. So this will, for example, mean that if you're trying to join a Teams session from home or from work or from somewhere else, then you need to have Authenticator set up so that you can join that session. So for this, you'll need to use your college email address and password to get access. So keep that by your side when you're trying to get this set up. So first step has been completed then. The Authenticator app has been set up on your phone. Next thing then is to set up on your Microsoft account the link between that phone and the Microsoft account at NWRC. So go to a browser, microsoft365.com, pick sign in and use your college email address and password to get signed in. But first of all you're presented with the screen here, work or school account or personal account. So in this case, it's a work or a school account. And it's picked, it picks up your email address or you have to type it in and then sign in. Once you've signed in, you should see top right hand corner of your screen then, you'll have either your initials or your photograph. Click on that, click view account. In there, there's an option on the right left hand side, security information. So it's here you're gonna go in and set up uh, your Authenticator. So there's possibility you'll be asked to again verify your identity with your mobile phone. So a code may be sent to your mobile phone and you enter that code and that gets you. So we have in here then uh, a number of sign in methods. So um, we've already had set up from previously, the phone would be a sign-in method, but the college decided that uh, the phone's not secure enough, we're going to use the Authenticator app instead. So we're going to have to add that on as a sign-in method then. So click here, plus, you have a menu, pick from the drop-down list, Authenticator app, add. Now, we are told then, on your phone, install the Authenticator app. Well, we should have done this already. So once you've done that, hit next. Um, so it says a prompted show notifications, then add an account and select work or school. Next. So we have this QR code shown on the screen. So what we've got to do is get our Authenticator app opened up. And in the bottom right hand corner, we should see something that says verified IDs. Tap that. Uh, in the screen, under the screen, we should see scan a QR code, tap that. Hold your phone up to the QR code and pick it. You can see then on your phone that it has trying to connect to that website and it should say account successfully added. Click next. And what it's going to do now is going to try and see if it can connect the phone to that Microsoft account. So on your phone, what you should see your in your Authenticator app, um, a box which says, are you trying to sign in to Northwest Regional College and give your email address? And it's telling you, enter the number shown on the screen into the box that's provided on the phone. So I type in 59 into the box on the phone. There's a number of options below the box, but I select yes, click yes, 
and now it's going to try and connect the phone to um, the Microsoft account. So it's taking a second or two and it should come up and uh, when that's successfully completed it will let me know on the screen and now it tells me notification has been approved and the two things are connected. So that means then in future if you're trying to use the likes of uh, Microsoft Teams on your phone um, or trying to use Teams on a laptop at home and you're authenticating through your phone that should be uh, available for you to do. So first step has been completed and the Authenticator app has been set up on your phone. Next thing then is to set up on your Microsoft account the link between that phone and the Microsoft account at NWRC. So go to a browser, microsoft365.com, pick sign in and use your college email address and password to get signed in. But first of all you're presented with a screen here work or school account or personal account. So in this case, it's a work or school account. And it's picked, it picks up your email address or you have to type it in and then sign in. Once you've signed in, you should see top right hand corner of your screen then you'll have either your initials or your photograph. Click on that, click view account. In there, there's an option on the right, left hand side, security information. So it's here you're going to go in and set up uh, your authenticator. So there's possibility to be asked to again verify your identity with your mobile phone. So a code may be sent to your mobile phone and you enter that code and that gets you. So we have in here then uh, a number of sign-in methods. So um, we already had set up from previously the phone would be a sign-in method, but the college decided that uh, the phone's not secure enough. We're going to use the Authenticator app instead. So we're going to have to add that on as a sign-in method then. So click here plus, you have a menu, pick from the drop-down list, Authenticator app, add. Now, we are told then on your phone, install the Authenticator app. Well, we should have done this already. So once you've done that, hit next um, so it says a prompted show notifications then add an account and select work or school next so we have this QR code shown on the screen so what we've got to do is get our authenticator up opened up and in the bottom right hand corner we should see something that says verified IDs tap that uh, in the screen, under the screen, we should see scan a QR code, tap that. Hold your phone up to the QR code and pick it. You can see then on your phone that it has trying to connect to that website and it should say account successfully added. Click next. And what it's going to do now is going to try and see if it can connect the phone to that Microsoft account. So on your phone, what you should see your in your Authenticator app, um, a box which says, are you trying to sign in to Northwest Regional College and give your email address? And it's telling you, enter the number shown on the screen into the box that's provided on the phone. So I type in 59 into the box on the phone. There's a number of options below the box, but I select yes, click yes, and now it's going to try and connect the phone to um, the Microsoft account. So it's taking a second or two, and it should come up and uh, when that's successfully completed, it will let me know on the screen. And now it tells me notification has been approved and the two things are connected. So that means then in future, if you're trying to use the likes of uh, Microsoft Teams on your phone um, or trying to use Teams on a laptop at home and you're authenticating through your phone, that should be uh, available for you to do.